So if you're, if you're concerned about the course being somehow less than a face-to-face -face course, set that aside because in many cases it might even be better. Uh, but it's certainly uh, going to be comparable and it's going to be comparable to the face-to-face -face course. And that's a commitment we've made here at Garrett that, that our, our, our online courses are no different from our face-to-face -face courses in quality, in content, in, uh, in intent. The only difference is the mode of delivery and then the things that we have to change to accommodate that mode of delivery. You know, the good, one good thing about the, you know, the, um, the online learning is that, you know, sometimes uh, in a classroom, there are, and my class had like a 70 students, it's a very difficult to, you know, to share. And then sometimes you're kind of afraid of, you know, speaking out your ideas, but in you know, online learning, I mean, just, you just say it. And then people are very, very polite and, you know, the collaborative enough and they kind of, um, help others kind of uh, grow and also like I think more critically. I've gotten excited about preparing for the fall because I've recognized with asynchronistic, um, I can do more things and I can have them discover things, which I'm always a big discovery kind of person. And the different students can go down different rabbit holes. And um, I, I, that always adds to the class is that we bring the, this variety of things back together. What about the practical side of it? So I teach evangelism, right? Evangelism at the heart of it is sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ with other people. How do you do that when you're in an online environment? Part of what I'll be doing is providing you the skills to be able to share your faith when you're in an online environment. Um, and one of the ways I do that is often working social media into the classes so that you have an opportunity to find ways to articulate your faith in a way that's meaningful to the folks that will be hearing it, appropriate to how they can hear it, but that's also authentic to you and to what you really believe. We want to make sure that you know we're available for you. And even though the library may look different and access may look different, there will still be a lot of things you can access online. And we will still be available for you via email, phone, and chat. We also will have a little virtual study room and we will regularly be a part of that. So feel free to contact us in those ways. And then throughout the year, I want you to know that we'll be offering a series of webinars, some tutorials and guides to specifically help you navigate the online world. And then regarding library resources, of course, access to the physical library will be a little bit different than it has been in the past, but know that you still will have access. We're going to provide contactless delivery and drop off in the front of the building. Also, we'll be scanning requests, so you will still have access to those physical materials. And of course, lots of things will still be available online. So the idea is uh, for us to keep up uh, our spiritual uh, uh, journey together and, uh, and affirming that we are an authentic uh, community of faith, uh, relating to each other, growing together, and uh, supporting each other in this. We are excited to get to experiment with some different things this coming semester. As Dean Younger mentioned, we're going to have online worship services once a month during the semester. And in those services, we'll incorporate student participation as much as we possibly can, whether that's through um, edited dramatic readings, through music, through other kinds of leadership. Um, your participation will be necessary to making these services uh, meaningful and ways for us to connect to God and to one another. We are offering daily devotionals contain a scripture passage, a prayer, and a song. The other thing we are offering is a daily Garrett prayer session, and that's at 6 p.m. every evening. Really an informal time to check in with each other and support one another and lift our joys and our concerns and just be in communion and prayer with one another. In terms of why do online learning now, um, I can't think of a better activity to do when sheltering in place or when, you know, trying to avoid going out and about um, to have the opportunity to contemplate faith, hope, and love and, and as that plays out in so many different ways as that has played out in history um, and how we are going to respond to this moment in history. 
um, and be embodiments of faith, hope, and love in this situation. And we will be happy to help you. And we look forward to meeting you and we're excited that you're here at Garrett Evangelical. Let's go through this together, hand in hand, even virtually, okay? <laughs> Blessings to you all, we love you. Thanks so much and we'll look forward to seeing you at Garrett in the fall.